What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Bossy from the Flossy Triple Three Shit. Free your mind, move to the side. I ain't got time for lies. And I'm here with my boy. Mullah Man Dan, footy don't jam, spray like a goddamn tan. We in this bitch counting blue hundreds. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes, sir. Can I get some hundreds? Hey. <laughs> you got to ask somebody who got them. You say you got blue hundreds. So now you capping? Nah. I ain't got time you. for the lies. I, I got time for you. lies, Mullah. I don't got them for you, bro. That's crazy. I don't got them for you. Mullah, are you the man? Damn. Or, like, Mula, you the man, damn. Nah, it's for bitches to say. Like, you can't say it. Like, bitches gotta be like, Mula, man, damn. Like, you could just oh, call me Mula. Oh, I see. Oh. But I can't be like, Mula, you the man, damn. Nah, 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 nah. See what I did there? Nah, I know you, I know you did, that was cool. but it's, it's for a bitch to say. I worked on that for a few hours before I came here, so. I thought you would enjoy that. That's like the highlight ask, of the interview. Ask them if they fuck with it. It's not really. Who, them? Outside? Like, yeah, like, no, like, the people watching. Like if they oh, fuck with it. okay. Nah, I'm not gonna ask them. I'm embarrassed now because you ain't fucking with it. Nah, it's not that. It's just you know, it's not for me to fuck with. But like, how did that like come about? Like, more like... came about from Rob Van Dam. That's the funny thing. He was don't... my favorite wrestler. That's crazy. We was just talking about re... please don't Facts. start these motherfuckers <laughs> up again about wrestling. I ain't gonna lie, that was my favorite wrestler. These, niggas, gonna lie. these niggas just had a whole I mean... conversation about wrestling. Please do not start it. Yeah, I was on that. I like... was on that. <laughs> I was on that. I feel like that's a big part of it. But a what lot about, of people's childhoods. What about Rob Van Dam did you appreciate? I just fucked with his swag, like, and, like, his, like, he was mad, like, I don't know how nah, to explain nigga, it. Come, like, oh, nigga used to do the frog geez. splash and, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, he was, he was swaggy, like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. feel me? Like, and he had the hair out, like, and he was just, like, on some <laughs> rock star shit. Like, that was me, you feel mm-hmm, me? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, like, I used to be in the crib, like, on my, all right. Like, you As you should. On that, like, you feel me? Or you know who I was doing, like in the crib, like not in the crib, but like outside in real life. You know who I was pretending to be? Who? Chris Benoit. <laughs> Why? You know what I'm saying? I was doing... that nigga was a crash out. <laughs> nah, whoa, 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 whoa. That nigga. Sometimes he always bitch, bleeding and shit. Sometimes like... that woman needs a good beating, and them kids ain't no ain't no better. So okay. <laughs> the only thing I ain't do is take my own life, cause okay, I feel like I'm better than these bitches and these kids. Yeah, yeah. He's so, got these badass kids. I don't jack Chris. You believe in kids? Now. Yeah, I want to. Like have you kids. want some? Yeah, facts. Or how many? Two. That's Two. enough. That's enough. But but I nah, told I every too. John that I talk to, like <laughs> if they don't give me a son, like we gotta just keep going. Wait, like, hold on. So let's we'll stop there. We're gonna have to keep let's going. Stop there. That sounds like if some... I have four girls, I'm gonna have to have five. Six, seven, until I have a, a son. Until oh, you have a son, okay. Yeah, facts. But you're not gonna, uh, you're not opposed. You're not, you don't care if you have a girl though. You, you love the. girl. No, I'll, I'll continue to have girls, and I'll be a girl dad. But I'm gonna need a son though. Like I would, need that. Would you tell her that it's okay to wear a birthday suit at six or seven? A birthday suit? Yeah. <laughs> no way. What birthday suit? You I... mean like what these girls be wearing? Type yeah, on a bro, birthday yeah. photo shoot type thing. Hell no. Gang, I really had some women on Facebook really annihilate me, bro. Like, they were mad at me because I asked, like, what's up with these whole-ass birthday suits? I ain't gonna lie, bro. F- females, they do their own thing, bro. I don't We'll it. never understand it. You won't understand, bro. It's not for you to understand. If you did, you'd be gay. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing wrong with that, but... Wait, I'm off the hook. If you're straight, you're yeah. good. You can't understand a female's mind. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, chill. <laughs> hey. So you go with the ladies, huh? No. I'm not good with the ladies. I don't know what it is. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> no, nah, I feel like I'm just striking out with these girls, Why, man. Why, though? Like, you, you seem like you, you got swag, you got the mo. It's not about getting them. It's about keeping them. Oh. I can't seem to, like, get past that part. Like It's like they always find something to be upset about like chill bro i'm just trying to do me they don't understand that mode uh yeah i don't even want to talk about females right now now you good bro like we could talk about that mode. now nah, we could talk about females but this is how i'm gonna be when i talk about them like nah. they butt yeah i mean like you know i like touching their butts yeah that too right i mean of course but you know, it's cool it what's is it worth it though nah you right. Is it worth it? You feel me? You wanted something. At the end of the day, you feel me? Like, he's not no wives out here right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> we don't got no wives outside. It's just straight, free for all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's for everybody. So, you know, you just got to move accordingly. I think the, I just think the good ones 
are too close to the hoes, right? And then they like kind of take on that person. That like they they kind of want to have that fun and freedom as them hoes, but they know it's not right. You know what I mean? Like so they get lost. Nah, that word you know? "good ones" is like I don't really I don't think there's like, we think, we think they all just everybody has their problems. Feel me? Okay. Like and when it comes to the ones that aren't as bad as the rest, you feel me? Like they might just be in the position where they're ready for that. But a lot of people at our age, sadly, aren't ready for that. You mm. know what I mean? Mm. Nah, yeah. I, I felt that. I'm trying to get ready, man. I got like three kids, man, but I can't settle down. Three kids? Yeah, bro. Three different baby moms, bro. <laughs> what? You're cap, bro. Why are you capping for? You ain't seen me in a minute, have you? Bro, I seen you like a month ago. That was, where you think I was at? <laughs> you was in the lab cooking? Yeah, babies. And babies. Yeah, that's bro. crazy. What's their names? I can't tell you that. I'm I'm afraid for their health and they and they like safety. You hiding the world from your kids, or yeah. you hiding the kids from the world? The world from the kids, man. No, the, the kids from the world. Kids from the world. Kids from, kids the, world. from the world. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Accent on okay. some Drake type shit. You feel me? On some Drake, Drake yeah, type yeah. shit. I got Jewish lawyers too, so they'll make it happen. Jewish lawyers. Yeah, fact. You trust them? I didn't say all of that, but they make <laughs> things work when you say you there's money to get. There's, there's, there's money, money to get. get. As long me? as you so, got the green. Yeah. You feel me? But I ain't mad. until then, you feel me? Like, Sorry, kid. They in the, they in the dirt. Up. That's fucked up. Ain't nobody gonna know you there. How many kids you wanna have? God willing, like seven more. Seven more? So you want ten in total? That'd be crazy, right? That would be crazy. I need a kingdom. You on your Nick Cannon shit. I'm better than him. Better than him, so I don't think he take. You think he take? I have never seen the cannon out with his kids ever. I've never seen the baby mothers complaining though. They got money. That's all they need. I want my dad to chill with me. Yeah, I felt that. Come on, son. I felt Come on, that. son. Don't make me go there. But we, I want my dad to chill. I with felt me. that. I felt that. But you know? if my dad was Nick Cannon, like slap that nigga. No, nah, no. Nah. If my dad was Nick Cannon and he was like, "Happy birthday!" He has twenty bands. Like I'm cooch. <laughs> like ain't gonna lie, my like I feel you on that. But like, you know, I want my dad to chill chill with me. But if my dad said, "Here's the money to chill with you," like I'd be like, "Ah, yeah, you're right. Thanks, Dad." He can't chill with me, then give me the money. He could do that. But what I'm saying is, my dad didn't chill with me a lot, and I don't <laughs> got twenty bands. <laughs> like, so I take the twenty bands. I, I, I feel what you're saying. You I feel feel what you're saying. It, 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 it'll fill a little bit of the hole. No move. You know no saying? move. Pause. Yo, y'all been well in the day. The, the money will fill a, the void. Didn't he? Okay. You almost. What? Almost. But that's not a yo. You're safe. Safe All right. space. All right. Cool. Safe space. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just letting you know. It's been about four times today where you've said pause. That's fine. Sometimes you got to pause something, you know, bring it back. You know what I'm saying? And start again. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad you could figure that out. How does it feel to be dead? Bro, I've been dead for a long time. But it feels great. Yeah, I heard that new single, man. You dead. Yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. What inspired that shit? Um, that song was basically inspired by being, you know, dead off of like alcohol, like yeah. drunk as hell. You feel mm-hmm, me? Mm-hmm. So just being lit and like, just to the point where it's like, your senses are so like killed that you just feel like numb to everything. You're dead. You feel me? So mm. like, you know, that's basically what the song was inspired by. You feel me? Just being super drunk. You said... If that bitch leave me, she better be, she better say psych, right? Something like yeah, that. Yeah, facts. Yeah, for real, because it's like I don't understand what what girls be like thinking. You feel me? Like they like maybe on they began t- they began drunk and they start saying anything, right? Like n- yeah, not even only just that. You could do anything for a girl, and they'll still leave. Mm. Facts. I'm not gonna lie. At first, I thought it was about a girl, but then I had to really think about it was just your time being drunk. Like yeah. I'm dead. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying. Everything, daddy. I'm daddy. Nah, like, you know, facts, like, yeah. That was a fire song, bro. That was a fire song, bro. Thanks. Like, trying to get like you, bro. How do I get in that mode? What is the mode? What is that? You? The mode is just something that you're already in. You just got to realize it, bro. You know, everybody's in that mode. You feel me? And it's like, once you realize it, you get to utilize it more. You feel me? Like, the smartest thing I ever did was dumb this shit down. Mm. You feel me? And the you been more, telling me that. The more you try to figure it out, the further you're going to go from finding the answers because it's not for you to figure out and there's people knocking on the door you heard that 
I didn't like that. But yeah, like the more you try to figure something out, and the further you're gonna you know get from the answer, and you know, that's all you have to really know. Just know that you're in that mode, and when I tell you to get in it, just stay in it. Like, how do I know though? Like, for me, like I get in the booth with Mula Man, damn, like I'm you you engineer my session. Like, how do how do you, you know encourage me to get in the mode? You you know like Ultra Instinct, like Goku and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Goku's in that mode when he's in Ultra Instinct. He's not really thinking. It's just flowing naturally off instincts. You know, the more you think about it, like I said, the more you're not in that mode. So me. I can't learn the mode. I got to just, like, it just got to, like, happen yeah, one day. instinctually. Like, yeah, facts. Mm, you feel me? And, you know, we use shrooms to get in that mode. You feel me? So get in that mode. We call shrooms mode. You feel okay. me? But any okay. type of psychedelic, really, to just unlock your brain type shit. Mm. And, you know... If you take that type of drug, you realize, like, you know, how or what the mode is. You feel me? Like, right. It's basically just that process of just feeling unlocked. Mm. You feel me? Yo, stop making noise over no, here. BT. That's how real it was. Stop making saying? noise over here in my, in, my, in my interview, bro. That's how real the mode no, gets. I love you, man. It gets real. There's a bunch of random noises. Y'all can't hear it out here, but there's a bunch of random no, noises here, and it's just like, what's going on? It's, it's like, going crazy. You got niggas with COVID in the back. You got niggas smoking vapes, dropping things, making noises, miscellaneous activities was, in the corner. I was dumb quiet for Turb interview. Oh, he not even in here. This is posse. <laughs> this is posse. <laughs> <laughs> they got the sniffles. Yo, so tell me, you produce, right? Yeah, I produce. So you you rap, and you produce. Yeah. Facts. So which came first? Producing came first for sure. Producing came first. I was producing at ten, type thing. How that the was, fuck ten? What was I doing at ten? I was trying to get on the the honor roll so my dad would buy me gifts. No, nah, no. Nah, at you was at, producing at ten. God I damn. I figured out how to download FL Studio. It was like FL Studio seven. Sheesh. Or maybe eight. Where we at now? Twenty one. Damn. Facts. Damn. Facts. Sheesh. That's a long time. Nah, that ass. So, yeah. um, I was, you know, producing for Mad Long, and I started rapping at 16 type shit. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, ever since then, you know, I've been in that mode. Facts. So, 10 years rapping and uh, 16 years producing. So, you kind of just, like, woke up one day and said, I'm going to do this. No, nah, my dad's a producer and oh. a rapper. Oh. Facts. Wait, so why? Okay. I ain't trying to get too personal. Nah, let's do it. But like, let's do you it. You say your dad, okay, but okay. You know your dad. Yes, very well. Okay, cool. But he just wasn't there growing up. He was there, but not in the ways that, that you, I wanted him to mm, be. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, I wanted to, wow. you know, be more musically involved with his process yes. and learn from him. <laughs> but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't really a place for me type shit. Like, him going to his studios and shit like that. So, you know, I just... Figured it out on my own type shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, which made the process take, you know, longer than it needed to. But, you know, I'm still here. We're here. Mm. You know I mean? mm. Do you feel like, damn, as a man, you know, and I don't know if it's too, like, deep, to, you know, no move. Pause. You good, bro. To go. You, you know good. what I'm saying? That yeah. route and in the conversation. But do you feel like, you know, not having him that way kind of, had a decline in your in your life or do you think it just motivated you to, to go crazy in your music no no nah, definitely i appreciate him for for making me do it on my own because now it's like nobody can take it away from me like i built a foundation to nice. the point where it's like you know like i really had to figure this shit out he pushed you to be a man yeah in fact so nice okay. i definitely appreciate that you know what i'm saying now that i look back at it like going through it of course i had my resentments and whatever but at the end of the day, like, I love my pops, and, you know what I'm saying, like, I appreciate him for just being that influence in my life, because, mm. you know, without him, I probably wouldn't even be on this path. Mm. You know I me? Mean? Shout out pops, man. Facts. You want to shout him out? You can shout him out there. Shout out. He, he knows. Trust us. He like knows. <laughs> he knows. For real. We got the same names. So everything I do is, you know. Word? Yeah, facts. How does it feel, like, how does it feel being, like, a junior? Like, I'm this, not this, a junior. Oh, not a junior? I'm the second. Okay. Yeah. What's the difference? I'm just not, don't call me junior. Oh, okay, right? okay, not, okay, no, okay. There's more respect junior. there. There's yeah, more respect yeah, there. There's more respect there. I'm not, there. I, 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 I'm not I, I, junior I, I, to anybody, for real. <laughs> but you a little nigga. 
<laughs> nah, facts. But um, it's it's different. You feel mm. me? Like a long time, I didn't really like my name, but I grew to love it. Type mm. shit. Right. Like, but you know, that's personal with like just how I felt about my relationship with my pops and shit like that. Right. 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 But to be honest with you, like we have a way better relationship now. You feel me? And at the same time, like I do love my pops and I love my name. Type shit. And mm. it's very unique. And you know, a lot of people don't know it. And a lot of people won't know it, but you know, I take pride in it. I used to know it, but I forgot it. It's all right. Will I'll, you tell me another day? I'll tell you, yeah, another okay, day. Okay, Facts. but not on here. I mean, it's very easy to find. You feel me? But I will. I don't want to say it. <sighs> okay, fine. Everybody fine. can find it though. Like, it's... go find Mula's real name, everybody. For real. <laughs> go ahead. Yo, bro. Um. Turb was talking about when I was talking to him. Y'all be streaming now, yeah, right, yeah. Um, you, you what good? What games are you good at? <laughs> I'm actually the best at all the games, but when it comes to you know, I'm, I'm call, I'm they, hearing I, they're up in. You arms. guys can't hear it out, but I hear cat they're up in arms. I ain't gonna lie, I'm the best at all the games we play. You feel me? Maybe not 2K. Okay, you feel me. Okay, but. I don't play 2K like that. I thought that. I'm really a Call of Duty head. You feel me? So I play Call of Duties. I play first person shooters. You feel me? Like that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? Um I get in that mode. We play Brawlhalla a lot. I'm definitely the best in Brawlhalla. You feel me? Like, yeah. No, I'm definitely the best. You feel me? I'm definitely the best. I don't know. I heard there's some dogs. All they gotta do is tune into the stream. We stream almost every day. Can you, Energy can you, can you tell them what the yeah, tell them what the NRGY Labs dot Twitch.tv, whatever, mm-hmm. however you do that. Yo, Twitch.tv forward slash NRGY Labs. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna have to get on there and like play somebody in 2K one time. You can, but we play for money. No. We don't play for money. But you can. <laughs> for real. That's, that's how uh, Aiden Ross and Neon blew up. You know them? I know Aiden Ross. But not Neon. He's like that. He's Ronnie 2K's son. He's his son? Yeah. He's not his son. He is. That's Cap. I swear to God, Neon is, is, is Ronnie 2K's son. What the hell? Just look it up. That's crazy. Yeah, word. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> That's crazy. But yo, uh, tell us, man. Yo, what the hell is going on musically for you? A lot is going on musically. Boys in Motion. Boys in Motion, you feel me? Shout out Lee Paris, you know what I'm saying? Just dropped a collab album with him. You know, it's not really an album, I guess project it's like six songs mm. but you know we got in that mode for sure mm. you know what i'm saying and it was very fun you know we might do a deluxe we're thinking about it but right now i'm just really focused on like my solo things and stuff like that and i'm you know having a lot of talks with different entities to take this to another level mm. you know what i mean can't really speak on nothing 100 percent because you know nothing's in writing yet but about to get in that mode for sure. Facts. <laughs> How's it working with like some of your closest friends, like in knowing that y'all do this shit together? Mm, it's great for real. Like I only listen to and really work with my friends, so it's definitely a great feeling knowing like we came up together and we did it together. You know, and I learned a lot from them. You know, like. But to be honest with you, we don't really record too much. We just be enjoying each other, like company type shit. But. When it comes to recording, it's really not that much pressure for us to really make music because right. we've made music together for so long. So like, mm. it don't. It's mad natural. You know what I'm saying like, it's not really a stressing thing. Like, it's if we feel and find a beat that we all want to get on, we all do it. But if not, we just chill and work on like Fucking up. <laughs> each other's. You good, bro? Work on each other's like solo things. Like I like watching. You know my friends process like and let right. them do their own thing and just see where they take it because i don't really like to like intrude on other people's process like i like to see their thought process and how they would create you know what, I mean? what about that like what about that whole process like seeing is it what about seeing other people in their process kind of motivates you and inspires you because it's just everybody has their own process and mine is you've so like mastered to a point where it's like when i see other people mastering theirs like it makes me rethink about what my process is you feel me like i get to see a different perspective and different take on certain things Mm -hmm. that like helps me like 
re-engineer or re like establish what I am. You know what I'm saying? So Alrighty. you know, it's it's definitely a learning experience regardless whether I feel like I know everything or not. Because they obviously different people than me. Mm. So they have their own process. Facts. Does your hair color decide your mood? In the season in which you change it? Um <laughs> it's a good question for real. My hair color is really like it doesn't decide my mood, but it it's like a statement on what my mood is. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So like, when I first bleached it, I was in Super Saiyan mode, and you know we went green, and then it was like you know it's time to you know chase dreams and chase green, whatever. Feel me? And now it's blue, and that's just trying to you know turn the green into the blue. I mean, get, <laughs> like them blue hunters I was talking about. So you feel me? Like, but it's never gonna be any other color. It's done. I'm not doing it no more. You feel me? What's like, wrong with all the other colors? Uh, green is my favorite color, and blue. I really only dyed it blue for a music video. Okay. That's coming out. It's not even out yet. But what's the, what's the name? What, what what song did you shoot the video for? R- Rick and Modi. Oh, we I was, need that. I was, I was we need that. Dyed it blue to have blue hair like Rick. Okay. You know yeah, like yeah. Rick and Modi. yeah, yeah, yeah. We need that. Yeah, we need that. Thanks. When is that dropping? I actually just talked to Jarris. He's helping us shoot it, and like. We're doing it in-house, so it's like we've tried to do a lot, and it wasn't in that mode. You mm-hmm. feel me? We was overthinking it, and I told him, like, yo, like, we need to just get in that mode and drop it. So hopefully, like, next week, maybe tomorrow, like, if I get the video, like, I'll drop it tomorrow. It don't matter. Oh, that's how you feel. Yeah. All right, hopefully we can get that video tomorrow or this week, you know what I'm saying? Who knows? For sure. That's a fact, but, bro. What's one thing in life that may have happened to you that like really put you on the track where you are right now? Like you could say like this for sure. Put like said, like, you know, my mindset has changed. You know, this is what I need to do. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm going for it all the way. I have a couple of those moments. You feel me? But I'd say the most recent one was me moving back from Atlanta to New to New York type shit. Okay. Cause like I was in Atlanta. I was living a regular life. I was like a stay-at-home dad, like had a dog, like it was like a family thing. Hold on, would you agree that having a dog in a relationship is like having a kid? Yes. Okay, just want to make sure. Somebody told me I was white for that. For sure. If you're raising a dog from a pup, I don't know if anybody (laughs) has really had a dog before, but a puppy is a lot of work. Like (laughs) that's not like, at a certain point, like there's, there's things that are more work than it is to even having a child. You feel me? Because children are going to eventually learn. You feel me? And grow up. But dogs are damn near puppies their whole life. You feel me? And you got to <laughs> train them out of it. And if you don't, then it's like they're going to be that same way. Mm. So it's like I was waking up six in the morning. Like my dog was spoiled. Like I'd take him out three times a day. You know I'm saying he ate more than me. Like he was on a raw diet. Like. I was vegan. <laughs> like, you eat chicken cutlets. I'm eating fucking beans. Like, nah, he eating better eat than me. Good, that nigga eating yeah, good. Yeah, he eating better than me. So, <laughs> feel me? Like, but like me moving back to New York, you know, like really jump started me back on like music grind. Mm. You feel me? Because mm-hmm. I got you know to come back to obviously where I was comfortable, and like just where I had built a foundation already. You feel me? Because in Atlanta. <sighs> nothing against Atlanta, but it's not my vibe. Like, it's not my environment. Mm. Like, I just can't thrive in that type of environment. Too gutta gutta? Not even that. I just don't like people enough oh. to to be in that type of environment. Like, I'm not friendly. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't meet new people. When I was going outside, it was only to, to chill with people who was in New York type shit. You know what I mean? Mm. So, facts. Yeah. So, yo. You say you was vegan. Man. What eras do you eat when you're vegan? Yo, I was eating a lot of... <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, please. Yo. Take it. <laughs> if y'all don't know, there's a lot of shit going on. <laughs> I was, yo, yeah, we, bro, got, we gotta no, pause this, bro. No, no, you, no you, we gotta pause this, bro. Uh, <laughs> listen, no, no, let's just finish it. Let's finish. Yo, BT, let's just finish strong. Let's just finish strong. Give me like, give me like, give me five. Give me. Yo, let it go. Let it go on the bro. middle camera. Let it go middle middle camera, man. Yo, bro. Yo, what is what? going, on? <laughs> bro? I can't do okay. this, bro. 
Right, are you are you are you are you good with our talk? Nah, yeah, I'm good, bro. <laughs> I'm good, bro. I'm just trying to focus. Like, yeah, I'm, nah, we go to I'm trying to focus, bro. Like, I'm trying to focus. <laughs> Yo, what? I'm trying to be entertaining for the Yo, people, but I can't do it, bro. Only if we can have split screens and show y'all what's going on, bro. I can't do it. It's bro. really a movie, but I can't do it, bro. I don't really want to talk about it. What's going on too, too, too much. You got to have respect. Can't do it, bro. But, um, damn, bro. Like, you be eating mushroom burgers, <laughs> vegan burgers as a vegan, like. Yeah, like, I was not. Nah, real talk, I was eating a lot of oh, french shit. fries, like. <laughs> <laughs> kind of spasmic. Yo, what the fuck? I was eating a lot of french fries Ooh. and, like, fucking beyond burgers and impossible <laughs> burgers and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the. A lot of shit oh. that's kind of not even, like, healthy vegan-wise. Right. But in Atlanta, it was very easy to be vegan. But when I moved back to New York, it was harder. Like, but they I, must they must have, like, some premium hamburgers and, like, chicken. Like Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed it. Like, it was... I didn't have no problem with the lifestyle. Okay. You know I'm saying, like, the lifestyle just got harder in New York. And, like, just long nights in the studio, you know, getting hungry at 4 in the morning. Like, it was, like, my options was... French fries. Very slim, yeah. Like, I was eating French fries every night. Truffle fly. Truffle fries. Truffle, truffle, fr- truffle, fr- truffle, fr- <laughs> nah. <laughs> truffle, truffle fries is hard. Yo, truffle fries is laugh, hard. Bro. Truffle fries is hard, but you know what I'm saying? like I like when a restaurant got give you uh, uh, French fry options, like where there's curly, yeah, seasoned, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, good French fry really, options. I, yo, I don't really even like potatoes like that, so it's like... What? For real. Like, when I was growing up, and go to McDonald's, I didn't even really get fries. Like, bro, them fries... Bussin'. I know they bust, but I ain't even get fries like that for real. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, but, uh, mm-hmm. Listen, bro, we done came a long way for real. Facts. And you I just, came a long way, bro. Nah, it's not. You really, did, you know. Bro. But I'm. You know what's funny? I, I'm glad I took this time out to just be around y'all guys, mm-hmm. like learn some things, do podcasts and things of that sort. Mm-hmm. Cause like. I'm coming back strong, bro. I started playing my keys again. Mm-hmm. Like I got some real music that I really want to bring back into the forefront. Like I want, I started singing again. Mm-hmm. I really want to go that vibe and just bring the soul, yeah. you know, back. So you gonna be cold on too, because I might need some bars, or I might even need your singing voice, because y'all don't know he can sing a little bit. A little bit. He can sing a little bit. I he might do it. Then. He yeah. might do it then. No, yeah, I have very good, you know, music theory. Yeah, that's really what it is. Like you know, I feel like anybody who knows that can. Put something together, you feel me? So that's cool though. Yeah. I fuck with that. Not, yeah. not a lot of I give you that, bro. Not a lot of these rapping niggas could do that, bro. Yeah. Like Facts. they, they're not. They try to be melodic, and their engineers are nice, yeah. right? Facts. Like nah, yeah. you kind of know what you're looking for. Yeah, Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like you're yeah. not like just going in there empty headed. Nah, yeah, definitely. I do everything purposefully. A lot of people do things by accident. Mm. You feel me? Or yeah. just unknowingly. Fuck those bozos. Hey, it's music. <laughs> you feel me like yeah. hey you know what i'm saying whatever people need to do to express themselves like mm. by all means you feel me you know even if i consider it whack at the end of the day feel me mm. they they express themselves what's your favorite or best song or project that you've released that i've released and that you want the people right now to go check out to go check out mm. favorite of all time like they need to. This is this is Moolah Man Dam right here, and then you can listen to everything else. Um, maybe like uh my project Superstar Season Two. It's okay. like an EP. Okay, I feel like that was like my, I took that project very seriously, and I like curated it more like a project than anything else. Like mm-hmm. I really like put songs that I felt like sounded great together and had like a similar vibe and really told my story type thing together type. Right. You know, and then, you know, my album Moolah World obviously is like very much about my sound and like just who I am as an artist. Mm. Superstar season two is more like who I am as a person. A person. I can so, see that. Moolah, I ain't gonna lie. I think I was there. I didn't see everything, bro, but yeah. I kind of seen that development yeah. into Moolah's world like yeah. that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Like that. Like I could, I could hear the, the different tones you were bringing yeah. into your music. It was really cool to see you yeah. really dive deep, bro. Like yeah, I yeah. literally seen and heard the change over nah, time. Yeah, for, for sure. Because people, I've been told like I need to change how I rap and, and you know, people didn't like my voice. Really? And, like, yeah. Facts. I've like I've heard that and like <laughs> from like family type. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh. So like like I used to be very like concerned about how I sounded on tracks and like I feel like Moolah World is like the complete like 
rebellion towards that. Like I'm mm-hmm. gonna be even extra more myself. Like right. And very animated. Like and like, Busta Rhymes is like one of my favorite rappers, and I feel like his animation on tracks and just how much energy he can give a track. Like I used to always look up to that. Right. And I feel like that's a big part of how I rap. Like just being very animated. Bust a bus. You already know. <laughs> Yo, bust a bus, you know what I mean? He could carry a, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He would go crazy, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Yeah. Listen, but you know what? Give, give the people, you know, one thing, a, a, a word of encouragement, something straight from Moolah's world, straight from Moolah's heart, man. Mm. Look at that camera. That's your camera right there. Let them know something. Hey, world. One thing I'll tell you is don't give up. That's very cliche, but, you know, I've reached a point of where I've considered myself at the bottom. Feel me? And I looked around and I said, any lower than this, I can't do this shit no more. Feel me? And, like, in that moment, you know, God showed me, you know, there's better things at the end of this. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you can give up right before your moment, and that'll be, like, a disservice to all the work you put in. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, at the end of the day, like, as long as you continue grinding, like, you can't even call yourself a failure. You know what I'm saying? Like, and one of the things I'm most afraid of is failing. The only way you fail is if you give up, mm. for sure. So just continue to chase your dreams and continue to just work hard at what you want. And eventually, not even eventually, you will, you know, you will get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it could be tomorrow. Mm. It could be the t- today. You feel me? My nigga. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga. But listen, yo, where can they find you? This was an amazing interview. Yeah. I'm thankful for the conversation, bro. Of course. Like, for real? Haha, <laughs> we know each other, y'all. That's a fact. <laughs> it's my bro. I'm whole gang, whole squad. <laughs> I don't care what Turb say. That shit is still in effect. Yeah. Whoever's here, whoever's there is who's ever there, bro. I don't know, bro. Yo, don't do that, bro. I, don't I, know, bro. I, 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 for one, cherish that. To be called whole gang, whole squad. To be like, yo, you were down. Yeah. I took that to heart, yeah. bro. Yeah. yeah. Yo. The we, first time y'all niggas said, yo, yo Bossy's down. Look at this text. I you know what I mean? Here. Look at this text. Because I, I remember that. You was like, nah, Bossy valid. Look at this you text. You feel what I'm I saying? Got. This is today. Come on, son. Yo, what it say, bro? Okay, go nah. Oh, energy laughs. <laughs> but <No>. listen <laughs> Yo we out of here man It's your boy Bossy From the Flossy Triple Three Shit Free of Mind Moose Society Ain't got time for lies Moolah man damn The conversation was amazing You know what I'm saying Check out Moolah's World uh, Check out Boys in Motion Shout out Lee Paris yeah. And you know Whole gang Whole squad Turbeezy Everybody The whole fam I love y'all We Flex. out of here We out of here man Like a boldy Let's go figure this out <laughs> This is wild